been doing a social project. Because the patriarchs were jealous of Joseph, they told they, that they sold him as a slave into Egypt, but God was with him and rescued him from all his troubles. He gave Joseph wisdom and enabled him to gain the goodwill of Pharaoh, of Pharaoh king of Egypt. So Pharaoh made him ruler over Egypt and all his palace. Then the famine struck all Egypt and Canaan, bringing great suffering, and our ancestors could not find food. When Jacob heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent our forefathers over there to visit. On their second visit, Joseph told his brothers who he was, and Pharaoh learned about Joseph's family. After this, Joseph sent for his father and his whole family, seventy-five in all. Then Jacob went down to Egypt, where he and his ancestors here, where he and our ancestors died. Their bodies were brought back to Shechem and placed in the tomb that Abraham had brought from his, from the sons of Hamor and Shechem for a certain sum of money. And the Lord said to Abraham, Take off your sandals, for this place where you are standing is holy ground. I have indeed seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groaning, and have come down to set them free. Now come, I will send you back to the Egypts, to the, Egypt, to the, Egypt, to the Egyptians. This is the same Moses that they had rejected with the words, Who made you ruler and judge? He has sent us to, the ruler, to be their ruler, and deliver by God himself. Through the angel who appeared to him in the bush, he led them out of Egypt and performed wonders and signs in the sky at the Red Sea for forty years in the wilderness. This is the Moses who told the Israelites, God will raise you, raise up for you a prophet like me from your own people. He was in the assembly of the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai with our ancestors, and he received living words to pass on to us. But our ancestors refused to obey him. Instead, they rejected him, and in their hearts turned back to Egypt. They told Aaron, Make us, a God, make us gods who will, who will go before us. As for his fellow Moses, or as for this fellow Moses, Moses who, had left, who had led us out to Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. That was the time they made an idol in the form of a calf. They brought the sacrifices to it and revealed in what their own hand and revel and reveled in their own what their own hands had made. But God turned away from them and gave them over to their worship of the sun, moon, and stars. This agrees with what is written in the book of the prophets. Did you bring me sacrifices and offerings forty years in the wilderness, people of Israel? You have taken up the tabernacle of Molech and the star of your god Rephan the idols you made to worship. Therefore, I will send you into exile beyond Babylon. When the members of the Sanhedrin heard this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at him. Grrr. <laughs> but Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At, the, at this they covered their ears and yelled at the top of their voices, and they rushed at him. They dragged him out of the city. <laughs> they dragged him out. <laughs> they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Throw the stone. Throw, throw the stone. Up, up, up on the on the head. Throw the stone. Ah! And they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witness laid their coats at the ah, ah, ah. Uh, the witness laid their coats at the feet of the young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, "Lord Jesus, receive my spirit." Then he fell onto his knees and cried out, "Lord, do not hold this sin against them." And when he had said this, he fell asleep.